Hi, I'm going to do a brief walkthrough demo of the new Fire uh, TV box by Amazon. And what you're seeing here is just um, some uh, screensavers that's been sitting idle for a bit, so it's uh, just automatically displaying some really interesting good pictures, uh, things like that. So when I press the home button, it's going to take me actually uh, to the interface. And uh, so what you're seeing here is the standard uh, interface that comes with the Amazon Fire TV. Some people have complained about the, the menu system. Uh, I, for one, uh, don't really have a problem with it. It seems uh, intuitive, uh, easy to use. Uh, what I do like, uh, one of the things you'll first notice is that um, the, the menu system and all of the graphics and everything do load very quickly. It's very snappy. Um, if you've ever used uh, other versions of media streamers like uh, the Roku or uh, a variety of other uh, tools out there, basically um, one of the things that has plagued those boxes is that they're usually underpowered. Uh, and so the Am I'm, I'm happy to report that the Amazon TV uh, behaves very, very well in terms of performance of moving through the menus and things of that nature. Um, so one of the goals that I had uh, for the Fire TV was to be able to run uh, my own media center application. Uh, typically it's, it's called XPMC. Uh, I'm actually using one of the latest versions, which is now using the name Kodi. And uh, so this is uh, to be able to, to work with content that you have on your network or a PC somewhere, um, digital content uh, that maybe you've um, created or that you've purchased in a digital format, um, and that you're able to kind of manage that into a, in, into a media center kind of library. Uh, and so this is not something that's standard, so you, you do have to do a little bit of work to get it working. So this demo is to kind of show you uh, what it looks like once it's working. As you can see, I have an icon for Cody right here. And when I launch that, um, as you, it, it launches very quickly into the actual Kodi or, or XBMC Media Center application. I'm running a specific um, uh, skin, so this may look a little different than maybe what you've seen before. Uh, I can scroll through different, uh, different options, but for the most part, I use this for movies and TV shows. Um, so if I go to movies, uh, you'll see that um, I'm kind of using... A, this is kind of how my media center is set up, but as you can see, as I scroll through, uh, I'm able to kind of scroll through the different movies that I have available. Uh, I'm not going to play anything because I don't want uh, uh, any copyright infringement in terms of videos playing uh, on, on YouTube, but you get the idea um, that basically I can scroll through my library, I can actually play. Well, I think one of the things that you'll notice uh, as I scroll through this again, and I'm, I'm going to go pretty quick just to kind of give you an idea, uh, again, the snappiness of, of the menu system, how fast it's, uh, you know, for when I scroll down, uh, the graphics display. And so that really is a tribute uh, to the little box that the Amazon Fire TV is. Uh, it's a very powerful, capable box. So even running um, this particular kind of Android app version of Kodi or XBMC, uh, it runs very well. Uh, so if I go back to the menu again, uh, same really for TV shows. I have a few TV shows. Um, I was watching Halt and Catch Fire uh, earlier. So in either case, you see that um, it actually, again, does a really good job of displaying the content, um, you know, that it's actually managing into that, uh, into that library. Um, so that's pretty much it. And if I press the home button, uh, I'm going to go back and then I have my uh, other applications that are available, uh, certainly Netflix, uh, they just released HBO Go, uh, so if I launch that, you'll get a kind of an idea of what HBO Go looks like uh, on the Fire TV. But what really I think is great about Fire TV is that they now caught up uh, with HBO Go. You have Netflix, um, Silicon Valley, one of my favorite shows uh, out right now, but again, go to the home menu. Um, certainly the, every app is going to be a little different in terms of, uh, of how it navigates, but uh, I've been pretty impressed uh, with HBO Go as well as some of the other uh, applications. Uh, very, uh, the menu systems are very intuitive, uh, very easy to use. Um, so that's uh, HBO Go. And I'm not going to really launch uh, into Netflix or any of the other apps. I think you guys um, are pretty familiar uh, with obviously what those applications look like. Uh, Netflix has done a good job to make the app look pretty similar across different devices, so it's easy to use. Uh, same for a lot of the other, whether it's uh, you use Hulu or anything like that. Um, but really, most notably, is again the ability for uh, Prime uh, Video. If you're a Prime member, having the ability to 
uh, stream content for free. Uh, and as you can see down here, some recommended movies. I do have kids, so some of the recommended movies um, are showing up that are, are kid movies and, and shows of that nature. Uh, but again, you know, scrolling through the menus uh, are, are very intuitive, very uh, quick. So I think, again, one of the, the really great things about the Fire TV is the, is the ability, the speed, the capability of the box itself. And now with all of the different applications that you have, you're able to really unlock a, a, a lot of content. Uh, and especially if you add, like I have done, um, the ability to run XBMC, which would also connect to content on your local network or wherever that is stored. Uh, I think that really expands the capability uh, of what this is. Uh, lastly, I'll mention uh, one of the things that Fire TV does differently uh, than some of the other streaming boxes uh, is, is it does run some games. And since this is a, an Android console, an Android device at heart, so you do have access to some uh, formatted uh, Android games. Um, there's a couple here. Uh, I was just really kind of playing around. I will tell you, I think Ski Safari uh, is actually, um, you know, I thought it was pretty good on a... Um, on a, on a tablet uh, form factor, but I have to admit, it's uh, it actually works really well with just the basic remote, um, because as you know, that you're really not having to do much. It's pretty loud, but you get the idea, so I'm really just clicking a button, you know? And so in terms of uh, being able to play a casual game, you know, on your uh, TV, uh, it's actually pretty cool. So and it's fairly easy to stop. Um, and go back, obviously, and so as you can see, a lot of the stuff that I've been doing shows up in my recents up on that home page, um, that home menu option. So anyway, so that's a brief walkthrough demo, I guess you could say, of the Amazon Fire TV, uh, and specifically kind of featuring uh, the XBMC or now Kodi application running, uh, which as you can see, the way I've got it configured, it's pretty smooth, looks very integrated into the rest of the system, um, and really easy to use for you know, some of the non-technical people in your family, my kids in particular, that I just need something easy. Uh, and so they, they obviously have adapted uh, this, this streaming box really well. So hope you enjoy. Thanks for listening.